For our project today, we're going to prune up the lower branches on these four flame amur maples. Now, the flame amur maple is considered either a large shrub or a small tree. And we're going to expose those lower branches primarily because the rabbits got in here this winter and they kind of chewed it back, created some scarring and a little bit of a stubby look that I no longer like. Initially, I planted these four maples as a screen from the road to kind of hide a vegetable garden area where you get tomato cages um, and just not a very attractive area sometimes in vegetable gardens. The flame amur maples in that 15 to 20 foot range, both height and width. It's also got a beautiful red fall color. The amur maple's fruit is called the Samara, and you can see they're just starting to turn what's going to be a bright red color. It's a good contrast off that green foliage. The amur maple's doing its job screening, but we've got more plants planted now in the background, so we don't have to worry about lifting them up a little bit. And lifting them up to about this three to four foot level, you're just not going to believe how much that changes the look of this plant. Just always been one of my favorite looks in the landscape to have multi-stemmed ornamental trunks. A couple other good plants that you can do this with are the Japanese tree lilac, a great plant with ornamental trunkage, and the autumn brilliant service berry. This is one that we now keep pruned up to expose that ornamental trunk. Once we get in here, and prune these lower branches off. It'll be an annual chore now just to get in there and it's gonna be constantly little stems that are gonna to wanna to keep regrowing. It'll become much easier since they'll be quite small. That being said, this is really a straightforward project. Really doesn't take all that long. I'm expecting about 30 minutes as we go through here. We'll be using the loppers, a pruning saw, and probably our hand pruners, depending on how big or thick the branches get. We'll get started on this lower end where we've got some really pretty big branches, only about three inches off the ground. So these were planted at about a three foot shrub. I would say about seven, seven or eight years ago. They said we'll switch back and forth depending on the size of the branch between the saw, that loppers and the pruners. On some of the other videos that I've done, I'm always mentioning that you don't have to try to do all your pruning on each side of the plant at one time. You can work your way through, start over, come back, and kind of keep lifting it up until you find that level that you're looking for. Oh, man, that amur maple, it's got a tough wood. I am not kidding you. It's a good chance we're only gonna be using that hand pruners for those really small stems. A nice thing about a project like this, it's a warm day here, getting up into the 90s, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. We get to work in the shade this project for the most part. I think 30 minutes, as my estimate, might have been a little optimistic. <laughs> Once you get going in here, there's a ton of little stems. Sharp little things too. It's easy to get scratched up with the Amur maple. You'll notice some of the really small ones, you can actually just kind of rub them off with your hand, they'll just fall, those peel right off. Yeah, if you can see there, this is where those rabbits, they just did, we had the snow level up quite high and they just came in and they just chewed back the branches. So I wasn't happy with the look this spring after that snow melted and thought I'd let it, thought I'd let it leaf out, see if I was okay with how it looked, but just don't like it. So that's where we're gonna get all these branches pruned up today. I think you're gonna like how this turns out, how it looks. Oftentimes reading about pruning, here's a good example where you wanna remove crossing branches. You can see this was probably just one time a small twig and it's already curved into this main trunk. We're gonna cut that down just a little bit lower down in here, should pop right out of there, won't be a big problem. But over time that can cause some problems for transport tissue and you could lose a branch like that over time just because of that damage. Already taken shape here, as you can see, we're gonna work our way across at this level and then we'll come back through and we'll probably clean it up a little bit more. Yeah, that's a tough one. Trying to decide. No, no, that thing's gotta go. Yep, might regret that one. Point of no return on this one. Yeah, I wish I would have left that branch a little bit ago. 
I don't tend to use any pruning paints on any type of projects I do, unless there's a severe disease present, such as like oak wilt. Best bet is just a good clean pruning cut. Let the plant seal itself off. our first sweep through we'll get rid of some of these branches and then take a closer look see if we have to go back through and take off just a few more I tell you what when you're pruning it sure doesn't take much to get a pretty big pile of branches and that good old-fashioned springtime metal rake that's one of your best tools for raking different debris out of rock beds tends to leave that rock behind and grabs the majority of the plant material you're trying to get out of there. All right, so at first glance, boy, I think we're really close already. See how we've lifted it up to about that four foot height. We've got a little bit here. We'll get in there and we'll clean up a little bit. Take a look at the other side, step back. Oh yeah, maybe you see it off to the lower right there. See how this one branch right here coming up on it? Yep, that one. Sticking out a little bit wider than the whole plant. So let's go back in. We're going to take that out. That's going to bring that into balance and finish cleaning up some of those little small twigs. We'll have this wrapped up in no time. It's a very hardy plant, at least hardy to zone three, maybe even into zone two. It'll also tolerate some of the tougher soils, that high pH, the clay type soils, and drought conditions. So just an all around tough plant that can be used either as a ornamental accent type tree or for the screening that we mentioned. All right, so yeah, look at that. I think that turned out quite nice. At that level we were shooting for, we've still got our good screening happening with the flame and your maple. And uh, just look at that ornamental trunkage. And one final look from where we started before and after here. Got that ornamental trunkage exposed. I appreciate you watching Garden Hike. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you again soon.